one of the things that uh, people have said is that the, the UAW could have could maybe do a, a better job of organizing or, or trying to organize some of the, the, the plants in the South. Uh, uh, here you're up against the Republican Party. You have four governors in the Tennessee, Kentucky, Alabama, Mississippi. Uh, and then you have uh, ten senators, Republicans. Remember how they were doing their stuff, you know? They were all parroting the same thing. Shelby and DeMint, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, and uh, the, I'll tell you, in Mississippi, for instance, where they have Mercedes-Benz plan, that poor state, they're still fighting the Civil War down there. They have slaves, the people. They gave, I think, $330 million state subsidies, no tax, give them land, put in roads, give them infrastructure, to make Mercedes-Benz come down here, whatever town it is. I think it's Mississippi for sure. Anyway, the four plants are all the same. Mm -hmm. And they were not, uh, the union people not welcome there. Mm -hmm. Do you think they they would be welcomed by the workers down there? By what? By the workers themselves? Do you, do you have a sense of Well, that? I'll tell you, they didn't have a chance to vote. Mm -hmm. This new law that's uh, in Congress now, or where they can vote by uh, in the, on the street, they can uh, sign a card. And if you get the majority of the people in that plant that want the union, they can present that to management, and it'll be certified as the bargaining agent. Uh, you see, the Republicans is really hot and heavy on it. They want to have a secret ballot that they can control. Mm -hmm. That's a very simple explanation of their little minds. Yeah, absolutely. You can look right through them, guys. <laughs> right, right. Huh. But but uh, uh, at the time of the strike, as I said, there were possibly forty or fifty thousand in the various GM plants. We got up to a height of about eighty thousand here in Flint at, one, at our high point. Uh, our greatest period period of prosperity was in the fifties and sixties. And it started going downhill at the tail end of 1970. Now, in the 50s and 60s, uh, I wasn't always on the broom. I got in the office jobs, got to be a production control planner, production control boss man, and I was in management AC for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And I can see this coming up now. Uh, the hell's that guy, the Roger Smith. Mm. Uh, I heard him once. Boy, oh boy, this guy's poison. His plans. And the right, uh, uh, during his administration, things started happening bad for General Motors. Cutting down jobs. Transferring departments out. Buying foreign. I could read his little mind before he thought of it. Mm -hmm. Well, they say. And I retired. I was in management. I resigned that. Went back to hourly rate. So I know what my pension's going to be. And it turned out very well. Good, good. I've been drawing 29, this is 29 years I've been retired. Okay. And it's doing very well. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> well, one of the other things that, you know, they. It, it's it, you're right about it, the difficulty of trying to organize in those southern states, but another thing that people say that that the UAW could maybe take a firmer stance on oh. and, and maybe take uh, not not so much about the organizing, but about uh, national health care. Uh, oh no no no, that's where you're wrong. They are 100 percent for national health care. Why would they accept that this VIVA arrangement if 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 truly they were for you know a single Single payer plan. I mean, do you think single payer? Well, uh, the government? yeah. Uh, you know, if that if that is a solution that they've voiced, you know, and, and endorsed publicly, why would they why would they accept anything other than that in the form of a VIBA or anything like that? Do you have much? Well, that I don't know. problem's not solved yet. Yeah, uh, we do have for uh, each and every employee of General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler is covered. We are covered 100% now. Period. But then, but the new hires coming in do not. Well, this is 
part of this. <coughs> the the new hires that are coming in, uh, you know, the, the what was the 07 contract? Uh, okay. The, fourth, well, the two tier this, wage structure. New hire structure. replacements for the people to cash yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, do you see, what do you see about this? This is the only way that they can uh, General Motors and Ford and Chrysler. They have to cut down their wages and their uh, total expenses. Mississippi down there was a sixteen, seventeen dollars. In I think, there. I well, it whatever comparable. it is, there's a great discrepancy, and they've got to come down to that some way. Or should they come up to? Well, I think the, <laughs> this is what my pl plan is. If them wages are substandard, they were the same as we had in 1934 or 35. You got to bring them up mm -hmm. to the level. I don't want to reduce myself down to the slave wages that they got in Mississippi. Right. And that's sort of what's happened. But the thing is what's happening, because it's rigged. They don't have a fair chance of organizing and getting in people in the fold. Mm -hmm. So maybe the Employee Free Choice Act would really be... They would, they would like to have our General Motors wages, believe me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you the structure of Mercedes-Benz and other foreign companies down there. Mercedes-Benz has their managers and their top engineers come over here, work at the plant. Mercedes hires a labor company to bring in so many employees for this department. They're not our employees, they're your employees. So the, look how vulnerable them people are. Mm -hmm. If you organize that bunch, they'd be gone and get another bunch. You'd never have to deal with Mercedes-Benz. Mm -hmm. The thing is, uh, it's rigged so terribly bad, worse than slavery days in the South than they had in the, the slaves in the field. Mm. It's the truth. But the survival, the union is very well aware. I know they're, I'm not in the management. I'm not on anybody's payroll at all. Uh, my views are my own, mm -hmm. but they're very well aware of the problems down there, and you've got to bide your time for now. Okay. We have an administration in Washington uh, that is trying to do something for us, for the whole country. Uh -huh. uh, the industry, at, uh, auto industry itself, 300 some thousand, four or 500 thousand suppliers, truckers, parts makers and so forth, mm -hmm. that's a big impact in this country. For sure it is.